Hi, and welcome to the world of Tractor Scratch Pro. In this video, we'll show you how to connect your Tractor Scratch Pro system to a pair of turntables or CD players. It just takes a few minutes, so let's get started. Before we start, make sure the RCA jacks from your turntables are disconnected from your mixer. Make sure the turntable ground wires are still connected to the mixer's ground terminal. We'll start with the end of the multi-core cable, which is equipped with six RCA jacks. Choose the cable marked Mixer Line In. These two RCA jacks, white and red, have to connect to the corresponding white and red line in ports of channel one on your mixer. Next, take the section marked Mixer Turntable CD and connect it to the phono in on your mixer. Finally, we need to connect your turntables or CD decks to the multi-core mixer segment. You should have one set of female RCA plugs which are not connected. These are clearly labeled Player TT slash CD. Connect the two RCA plugs from your turntable or CD deck to the female RCAs on the cable. We have now connected one deck to channel one of the mixer. Repeat the steps above with channel two in your second deck. The mixer segments of the multi-core cable allows for seamless transition between tractor and regular records using the phono line switch on the mixer. To test if you've set the mixer segment correctly, set the mixer's line switch to phono and play a regular record. With the audio 8 not connected and your computer nowhere in sight, your DJ setup should now be working perfectly as an analog setup. If you don't have a record, simply play your tractor control vinyl and you'll hear a high pitched tone should you play it over the sound system. If you don't have a CD, simply play your tractor control CD and you'll hear a high pitched tone should you play it over the sound system. If for any reason your system is not operating as expected, check your cabling and then run through the steps above one more time. Congratulations, you've now set up the multi-core mixer segments. Step 2. Connecting the Audio 8 DJ segment of the multi-core cables. Now that you've connected the multi-core mixer segments, it's time to connect the Audio 8 DJ and your laptop. For this, we'll need the Audio 8 DJ segment of the multi-core cable. At one end of the cable are four differently colored RCA plugs. These plugs will connect into your Audio 8 DJ. Choose the cable marked Audio 8 DJ Input. These two black and red RCA jacks have to connect to the corresponding black and red ports of channel A on the Audio 8 DJ. Next, connect the cable marked Audio 8 DJ Output. These two yellow and white RCA jacks have to connect to the corresponding yellow and white ports of channel A on the Audio 8 DJ. Now repeat this step with your second Audio 8 DJ multi-core segment, this time connecting to the four ports of channel B. Now take the cable connected to channel A. This will transport the signal from the deck on the left side of your DJ setup. Connect this XLR with the female XLR from the cable attached to the mixer channel 1. Channel A and channel B contain high quality phono amplifiers and are the only two channels that will allow vinyl control. All channels will work for CD. Repeat this, connecting the XLR connected to channel B with the XLR connected to channel 2. Remember, channel A on the Audio 8 DJ connects to channel 1 of your mixer, and channel B connects to channel 2. If you'd like to add two additional CDJ decks to channels 3 and 4, we'll show this in a future video. So now we have the decks, mixer, and Audio 8 connected. We just need to set up the Audio 8 and connect the laptop running tractor. Step 3. Setting up the Audio 8 DJ. The Audio 8 DJ is a cinch to connect to your laptop. Simply use the included USB cable to connect your laptop with the audio interface. We now need to check that the correct input mode has been selected. You can use the button labeled Input Mode on the Audio 8 DJ to switch between the different modes. To enable timecode control via vinyl, make sure the LED next to Control Vinyl is lit as the input mode source. To enable timecode control via CD, Push the input button until the LED next to control CD is lit. As a final safety check, make sure that the USB LED on top of the Audio 8 DJ is lit permanently. 
If the LED blinks, then the driver hasn't been properly installed. So that wraps up all the audio connections. You're now ready to rock with Traktor. If you need to learn how to do an initial setup for Traktor, including preferences and activation, or if you haven't yet installed the software, please watch the corresponding videos on this website.